it's only my opinion. With that, we're going to move on to the next story, which is entitled Lincoln Woods. This is still, we're still on local stories right now, guys. So a Pawtucket man was missing for more than a week. Uh, his name is Thomas Lilly, and he's 22. He, uh, so he was returning with his family from a trip to New York on June 21st when he asked to be let out of the car to go camping with some friends at Lincoln Woods around 8.30. Um, Lincoln Woods is closed around that time, not open, FYI. <laughs> um, so on Monday around 6 p.m., I guess he went missing, around, uh, um, his family or whatever reported him missing. But on Monday around 6 p.m., park rangers spotted him and he fled from them. So they saw him and he uh, didn't run to them, he ran away and the state, uh, the state police located him near the state park with no reported injuries. And so they took him to Fatima Hospital. So um, I don't know if this is a case of <laughs> like not quite there, or maybe this individual had a trouble living environment that they wanted to escape. But yeah, it was the call of the wild, bro. The call of the wild. Don't you ever just sometimes aren't you just walk past the woods or drive past the woods and you're like, like no, I can just leave this all behind. Make a like wear animal skins, you don't ever have that impulse? That makes sense because he was in New York for a, a, a nice little period of time. He must have just got city, you know, sick of the city and all the, the cars and, the, and he needed some time alone. New York during the Rona is tough. I've heard from all my friends whether it sucks, even worse than it usually does. Yeah, I'm like, New York <laughs> sucks. I'm, I, oh God, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I don't want to alienate. New York doesn't suck. It's an acquired taste for certain people. It's acquired um, <laughs> fuck the Yankees, fuck the Nets. <laughs> I don't give a shit about sports teams. I'm just joking, everyone. I love New York. I don't give a crap about sports teams. Um, but yes, this this I'm I'm glad that he was found. He didn't seem like he wanted to be found though, which I'm concerned about. Cause it's like how long are you gonna keep him if he doesn't want to be found? Like if he doesn't want to be part of the fam, like I mean, he's a grown ass man. I mean, if he wants to do his, do his thing well, in the woods, do that Henry Thoreau thing. Mm. Well, I guess he can't do it in a well, public I park. <laughs> like go to Garden Park or something. God damn, you just think Yeah, there are public parks that there's like twenty four hours a day where you can just be there and no one like questions. I don't think there's a thing. And I love Lincoln Woods, but growing up, you always heard shady, shady stories about it. Well, the pond area, like, isn't the water always? <laughs> there was one year where Lincoln Woods, where the pond was okay to swim in, and then after that, like, I, I swear it was never okay. They were probably like, what have we done? And <laughs> just never again. Right. There was a meme when when uh, COVID first came out, and it's like if you ever swim at Lincoln Woods, then you're actually not not gonna get COVID. You're good on COVID. Your, your, your immune system is COVID, strong. Yeah. I just whenever we went hiking there, like my friend's dad would be like, "Yeah, they found a body here." Like, <laughs> like oh great. There's always bodies oh. turning up there. Yeah, I mean, you're driving around with a body, you know, up. Uh, what is that? Like the what else are you gonna do? It's only my opinion. Coffee milk.